dose calculations. Imagine a child with a cough. They've had it for nine days and you diagnose kryptonitis infectiosum, a made up condition. And you want to prescribe something called kryptonol at 10 milligrams per kilogram BD for seven days. The kryptonol comes in 100 milligrams per five mils and the child weighs 15 kilograms. So the question is, what is the actual volume of kryptonol that you need to pour out onto the spoon to give the correct dose? So first of all, work out the dose. So we want to give 10 milligrams per kilogram. If we can get this number to 15 kilograms, then this side of the equation will tell us the dose needed. So one kilogram times 15 equals 15 kilograms. And whatever you do on the right hand side of the equation, you have to do to the left. So 10 milligrams times 15 equals 150 milligrams. So that's the dose. For a 15 kilogram child, you need to give 150 milligrams of kryptonol. Now we have to work out the volume which actually gives this dose. So we know the kryptonol comes in 100 milligrams per 5 mils. So we write the target dose divided by what you got. So 150 milligrams is a target divided by what you've got, which is 100 milligrams, which equals 1.5. And you multiply this by the 5 mils, which makes 7.5 mils, which you're going to give BD for 7 days. So to give 150 milligrams of kryptonol, you give 7.5 mils BD for 7 days. Next we have a child with a rash. You diagnose itchiitis. This time you prescribe itchilix at 150 micrograms per kilogram, TDS, for five days. The atrilix comes in two milligrams per five mils, and the child weighs 22 kilograms. So first of all, work out the dose. 150 micrograms per kilogram. So multiply the one kilogram by 22, to make 22 kilograms on the right-hand side of the equation. And whatever you do to the right-hand side, you're going to do to the left-hand side. So 150 micrograms times 22 is 3,300 micrograms. Next, what volume gives this actual dose? So we know that 2 milligrams is in 5 mils of itchilix. But before we go any further, notice that the itchilix is in milligrams, and what we just worked out is in micrograms. Now you can't mix these units together. They either both have to be in micrograms or both have to be in milligrams. In this example, we're going to convert the 2 milligrams into micrograms. So 2,000 micrograms in 5 mils. And then again, the target dose divided by what you got. So the target is 3,300 micrograms. And what you got is 2,000 micrograms, which equals 1.65. And you use this number to multiply the right hand side of the equation, so 5 mils times 1.65 is 8.25 mils, TDS for 5 days. So 8.25 mils provides the 3300 micrograms needed for a 22 kilogram child, and you're going to give it TDS for 5 days.